Hello and welcome to this Hits and Tips video. I'm Russell Fotheringham, Applications Engineer for Solid Applications. Today we're going to be looking at pack and go assemblies and how to rename files sequentially. As you can see on the screen we've got our assembly and our parts underneath it in our feature manager tree. So the first step is to go to our pack and go menu. We're now going to browse to the location where we want to send the pack and go to and get this set. Now, we may be wanting to share this with someone, but not necessarily share all the information like part numbers and descriptions. So what we can do is go to Excel, we can start in our first cell and type our number, or it could be a letter, whatever you want, drag it out to match the number of parts that are in the assembly. We can then copy this and return to SolidWorks, click into the top box of the uh, description in the assembly and simply paste our new numbers in there. Okay, now important step is here is to make sure we close the original assembly to make sure we don't have any referencing issues. But now if we open up the new assembly, we can see it's all been renamed to the location that we sent it to. If we open it up, we now have the same assembly with the same parts, but we're not sharing any information that we don't want to. I hope you found the information in this video useful. Thank you very much for watching.